Well, we have spoken about the rivers, the types and the lakes, but let us try and understand the importance of the rivers. Well, rivers seem to be the lifeline of the country and we see that it is the rivers which help in making the soil fertile of the northern plains and that is why the northern plains are called as the granary of India. Supposing there were no rivers flowing in the northern part of India, then there would have been scarcity of the food grains in India. So, I am justified when I say that they are almost like the lifeline of the country. Then they also form deltas which have rich alluvial soil. The rivers have always acted as the cradle to various civilizations of the world. All the major ancient civilizations developed on the banks of the river, whether it was the Nile or whether it was in India, the civilization that we had, all of them developed on the banks of the great rivers. Then we have the rivers acting as a way for the progress of the cultural and the economic sector of the country. When I say the economic sector, because from here we have all the trade going on and it is from here that most of the people visit one country to another country. Of course, the air transport has become very, very common these days, but still much of the load lies on the waterways. As I said, the inland transportation system also actually is the credit of the various river system that we have in the country. Now, the all the industrial development which takes place in the country is also because of the rivers, because water acts as the major raw material for all the industries, it acts as a coolant and also helps in generating hydroelectricity. So, when I talk of the rivers, whether it is the trade, the culture, the cradle of civilization, the navigation, the industrial development or the agriculture, everything seems to be dependent upon rivers. So, rivers are definitely the lifelines of the country and we have the two kind of rivers which you are already aware of. But Today's man has become very greedy and it is said that whether it is land or water, there is sufficient for everybody's need but not for everybody's greed. And here exactly something has happened and that is that people out of greed and lust have started actually polluting various rivers of India. Whether it is the untreated sewage which is thrown in the rivers or it is the industrial effluence or the urbanization all have contributed in their own way towards river pollution. If river pollution continues in this manner, then one day we will not have any fresh water to drink. Think of the day when human beings will actually be thirsty and there will be not a drop of water to drink. Therefore, the government has taken up certain measures like the river action plans to clean various rivers. The Ganga action plan is the biggest of this kind which is meant to actually purify and clean Ganga river which is considered to be the mother of all the rivers in India. That was all about the chapter drainage. Thank you.